Poachers have killed more than 1,000 rhinos in South Africa since the beginning of the year. At John Hume's farm in South Africa's northwest province, guards armed with assault rifles are protecting rhinos from poachers backed by international criminal syndicates. If we went to those same syndicates, and never mind the fact that some people accuse them of being the same people of, as drug lords or child prostitution or human trafficking maybe, I don't know about any of those things, but I do know that if we cannot get them to stop dealing with the poachers, we are going to fail in our quest to save the rhino. Hume runs the world's largest rhino breeding operation with 900 white rhinos and an undisclosed number of highly endangered black rhinos on his property. Here, workers feed the animals by day and protect them from armed groups of poachers by night. They're never going to eat that. You must feed that to the sheep, eh? Best is nice. Nightfall this. brings the dreaded prospect of yet another invasion. Just a month after we visited the farm, poachers raided Hume's property and killed a rhino cow and its unborn calf. Black rhinos are killed for their horns, which at $4,000 a pound are worth more than cocaine and gold by weight. Besides being seen as a status symbol, the ground horn is believed to have medicinal qualities among cultures in China and Vietnam. A surge in demand for horns has led to a sharp rise in poaching incidents in South Africa and Zimbabwe. Just a few hours north of Hume's farm, across South Africa's border with Botswana, the Botswana government has deployed troops to patrol its rhino sanctuaries. Botswana is working with U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services to help train its rangers. The partnership is part of U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's investigation of illicit trade in rhino horns in the United States, which has led to seven convictions and 14 arrests in California, New York, and New Jersey. As far as we know, Scott Zebar and Jim Lawley have not been charged, but they are mentioned in federal court documents as being involved in the trafficking of black rhinoceros horns. Undercover federal investigators disguised as rhino horn dealers established that Lolly Brothers, one of the largest exotic animal auctions in the United States, supplied Vietnamese dealers in California with black rhinoceros horns in violation of the Endangered Species Act. At least 19 of the horns sold by Jim Lolly were shipped through USPS, UPS and FedEx to businesses owned by Jimmy Carr, a Vietnamese businessman who ran an antique shop in Westminster, south of Los Angeles. Federal agents recovered gold bars and at least $2 million in cash following raids at cars businesses in California. U.S. Fish and Wildlife has Denise since deployed Wilson, dogs trained to detect rhino horns and other wildlife Kentucky, products to customs clearing points around the country. The dogs are trained using real rhino horns and are rewarded whenever they make a correct pick. Uh, rhinoceros horn. Back in Africa, rangers and vets are staying on high alert to prevent further rhino killings. All the rangers were obviously always aware of, like, they'd hear a gunshot and it's immediately where, where does it come from, is it the neighboring farm, you know, but it's, mm -hmm. everyone's on high alert.